Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode in the Rails API series. In this episode right here, uh, we're going to be continuing from the previous episode where we already created the endpoints for the account and we nested the contacts inside of the accounts. Now, n now basically, we need to update our contacts controller to uh, be to scope correctly. And what what I mean by that is basically we shouldn't be retrieving the contacts from the user anymore. We should be retrieving it from the current like the account. Um, so the easy way to do this is, uh, so first of all, let me update this file. Uh, and what I want to do is like, I want to use the same style as this file here. Like, so add the frozen string literal and all that stuff. So I'm just going to do that and get that out of the way. And basically I want to use a module V1 like that. and nest this guy inside. All right, so here what we need to do is, uh, you know, if you take a look at the routes, uh, so this is coming from the previous episode, uh, we have, we can pass in the account ID as the you know as the the primary scope and then what we can do is we can access this account ID parameter uh, in our controller here so what we're gonna do uh, account equals uh, account dot friendly dot find uh, and then params account ID and so basically what this is is it's gonna load us that scope so what I generally like to do is create a scope fun uh, method over here and we're going to put this guy in here like that. And so now, uh, if we ever change uh, you know, the scope again, we don't have to change a lot of code in here. We just change how we're going to retrieve the scope. And basically, that makes it very simple. So here, I'm going to do scope. And uh, I want to do account. So just do a bit of like if we need to access uh, this multiple times. I'm just, just going to use memoization and then I'm going to do um, account. All right, so um, now when we access scope, uh, what we're going to get is basically um, the account, in this case, from the account ID. And then basically, when we do anything in this controller now, it's going to be scoped under the account. So scope. So all we have to do here is change this guy here um, to actually here. We need to create an organization as well. Um, so this needs to be organize equals um, actually. Yeah, actually, you're right. So uh, actually, I'm right. Uh, if you take a look at the contact, the contact actually belongs to the organization. Uh, so scoping the contacts, uh, we need to also, um, you know, pass in which organization, at least for the creation and, and the, uh, the the destruction or any updates we want to do. Uh, so I'm going to head over into the routes. And here we're going to do only index. So, uh, and then basically here, uh, we are going to need to scope um, the contact creation under the organization. So, um, one more thing is we need to allow the account, we need to make sure that the account is able to, contact, is able to um, has many contacts through organizations. All right, so that makes sense. Uh, so I'm going to add that frozen string literal here as well. OK, so uh, let's walk through a little bit of why we have to do the scope in this way. Um, that's because basically, um, you know, actually, I want to change this to uh, current account. Yeah, that's better because 
we're just getting account the current account here. We're not, you know, really figuring out the organization and all that stuff. Uh, you know, it's 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 the scope word is too general for this purpose. So current account the contact. So basically, what we want to have is basically imagine a page where you have like a list of all the contacts for a certain account. Now, accounts are actually created under organizations. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's say you have your your company uh, uh, is the account, right? And you're now going to have or s buy and sell uh, to or from another organization, maybe another company. So you, it might be your client or your customer. Um, and basically, you're going to create, you know, the representation of their company in your account. Uh, so basically, we also need to create an endpoint for creating the organization. And the organization is going to be nested under the account. So um, what we're going to do here in the contacts endpoint is we are going to load the account, uh, the organization uh, from the accounts or current account dot um, params. All right. So what this means is, so we need to uh, now use organization dot contacts dot build. So I'm going to copy this here for destroy. And here it's going to be All right. Uh, so this is like, you know, three level of nesting. Um, so we need to pass in the account ID and then we need to pass in the organization ID as well to figure out which organization we're working with. So uh, I have a better solution than what we are doing here. And uh, basically what I'm going to do is in the next episode, I'm going to show you guys how we're going to tackle you know, a, a situation like this where, you know, we have, um, you know, like two, three levels of nesting. Um, and what the, the general consensus is on how to deal with a situation like this. Uh, so yeah, uh, with that, I want to wrap it up. And all, if you're not already a member, uh, become a member for just nine bucks a month. You get access to all of our content, uh, you know, in the, our back uh, library and any future episodes we release, um, as long as you stay a member. Uh, and, and also like and share our video. Uh, and so yeah, with that, I want to wrap it up. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.